Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. So I did a DMT trip last night, but I wanted to redo the intro today because things didn't go exactly as planned. And that's sort of part and parcel with DMT. Things don't always go according to plan. And especially when you're using a new smoking method that you're not totally used to. And that's sort of what happened to me last night. I was going for a breakthrough trip, as you'll hear me say in the beginning of the video, but I didn't end up breaking through. You see, my DMT, I'll show you. You can see here that the cartridge was getting low and there's not quite enough in there to create enough pressure for it to go into the hole. It's just sort of chill in there. And I had some inside of the chamber on the wick. So the wick was primed, but I guess it wasn't primed enough because in my live stream a few days before that trip I, I hit the pen a couple times and I think that dried it up a bit. Uh, long story short there really wasn't enough on the wick for me to break through. I took two or three pretty big hits. You don't see any smoke but that sometimes happens with vapor especially the pens when you hold them in a long time but they definitely did hit me but it wasn't a strong trip at all. In fact it was weak enough to to the point where I started talking and I sat up in the middle of my trip and started speaking to the camera because I realized I've got a lot of questions about people asking about sub breakthrough trips. Is it worth it? Sometimes they're scared and they just want to dip their toe in the water. So they ask if like a mild trip is worth it. And I hear a lot of people saying, no, don't do that. Small DMT trips aren't worth it. I tend to agree with that, but also it's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not the end of the world and it can, you know, help build confidence and if it does that and then I say go for it sub breakthrough trips are very body intensive when you break through at higher levels your mind is completely off of your body high and it goes completely to everything that's happening happening mentally but in sub breakthrough trips there's not enough like mental stimulation to draw your attention away from the body load so that becomes very prominent in low dose trips uh, it's not necessarily a, uh, an enjoyable body high either it just you're you can't move very well you feel very heavy and slow basically um but it's somewhat interesting i'll talk about the trip you'll see in a minute here but um i was planning on going for a breakthrough and i didn't break through and it is what it is also before i get into that video i just wanted to shout out a channel and a friend of the channel a friend of mine his name is andreas gomez emelson and that's the name of his channel you can see here he's co-founder of the qualia research institute and in their own words qualia research institute is a non-profit research group studying consciousness in a consistent meaningful and rigorous way. I'm not exactly sure the breadth of what they study, but I know at least um, they do look at um, altered states of consciousness brought on by psychedelics. Andreas seems to be particularly interested in that. And you should check out his channel. He has a lot of really good talks. As you can see here, I checked a couple out. I'm looking forward to this one here. And his talks are very thorough, very well thought out. He knows what he's talking about. This isn't some guy just sharing his opinions about psychedelics. He's very well educated on the topics. And a lot of his videos suggest new ideas about how we can go about sharing our experiences with psychedelics so that we can log them in a, like he said, in a meaningful and consistent way. And on their website, they actually have a tool called the Tracer Replication Tool that anyone can access. And basically what you do with this tool is you can recreate tracer effects that you may have experienced on a particular psychedelic. And there's all sorts of metrics and different parameters you can change here. You can see you can make the trails last longer, shorter. You can even add this strobe effect, which is something I definitely notice happening in my 2CB trails. I've already submitted a data point for 2CB plus acid combined because I had really prominent trails on that trip. But you can see here, there's all sorts of different parameters. You can change the color. You can even add a green screen here. I think they got Shia LaBeouf <laughs> as the default, but you can upload your own if you really want to submit a really accurate one but you can just use the shapes here and there's all sorts of parameters you can change the gravity the color the speed and really you can really hone in the effect and really recreate what you saw the 2cb tracer i submitted was nearly identical to what i remember seeing anyways go check them out they're doing really noble and important work i think 
you know, I'll continue to contribute to the psychedelic community by being a guinea pig, but we also need some more people like this doing some actual hard scientific work and creating actual databases to where we can get some actual numbers to work with. And that's all I wanted to say about Andreas's channel. Something else I wanted to mention is the trip chat. The trip chat is coming up in just a couple days here. It's on Saturday. I wanted to put it in this video because I know a lot of my subscribers are going to be clicking on this. Um, if you want to take part in the trip chat on Saturday, join our Discord. You can find a Discord link in the description to this video or it's on the channel homepage. And Discord is free. It's easy to sign up with and it's a great app overall. And the trip chat is basically going to be held in the discord i'm gonna have some channels set up some different channels i'm gonna be on mushroom some other people are doing some other things there's no pressure to be under the influence of anything though come as you are stay as long as you like it's going to take place all day starting at 9 a.m pacific time so figure out your time zone do the math and then i'm going to be there like all day at least 12 hours uh, I'm going to be there till midnight the next day. So it's, I'm going to be there all day, basically. I might take a break in between, but uh, I'm going to basically just be chewing on mushrooms a little bit here and there all day. Um, I don't like to get too high on psychedelics because then I can't really work computers very well, as you may have seen in that one live stream there. <laughs> but stop by. I'm going to do a cash draw giveaway. There's going to be three of them. I'm going to do a $100 prize giveaway and then also two $50 giveaways. So stop by, you know, there's not going to be a ton of people there. So your odds are pretty good. And then I'll have a couple of other things planned that I will uh, announce tomorrow on the 5th, the day before. And so, yeah, come join our Discord. Uh, even outside of the trip chat, it's a great community. We got a lot of warm, friendly, uh, knowledgeable people there. And then the whole thing is going to be streamed as well. I'm going to stream the trip chat from my perspective. And so you can catch that on YouTube. And yeah, it's, it's going to be great. I mean, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out yet. It's the first one we're doing. I'm thinking of maybe doing them quarterly. It might be a little bit of a shit show, but it's all good. There's going to be voice chats and text chats in the Discord, and there's going to be different rooms. There's going to be a room for music. There's going to be a room where we're, we're playing games online, like uh, this Pictionary game and a couple others I got planned. And then I got a couple other things planned as well. So uh, you'll just have to stop by and see what it's all about. Like I said, you don't have to stay long, and it will be for like a good 14 or 15 hours, maybe even more if I decide to end up going longer. But I wanted to make sure that everyone from around the world had a time to stop in at one point no matter what time zone you're in also sorry i've been sort of slacking on the uploads in the last uh week week and a half i've just been sort of i didn't want my tolerance to be too high for the trip chat and then also i just i think i needed to take a break from psychedelics just period because i was going too heavy there for a bit um, but don't worry i'm not going anywhere there's i you know lots of dmt and trip and chill videos planned for the future i wanted to do a trip and chill last week but uh you know, I wanted to keep my tolerance down. Also, I haven't been drinking. I had a couple yesterday, I will admit, but in the last five days, that's all I've had. And that's probably the least I've drank in, in I don't know, years. And it's I, f I feel pretty good. I feel a little bit antsy, a little on edge, um, but I feel pretty good. My channel's motivating. It helps keep me clean. Anyways, let's get into this DMT trip I did last night. Uh, don't expect too much. It didn't go as planned, really. There was a lot less than I thought in that pen. And so it ended up being a mild dose. It might be equivalent to, say, doing a 15 milligram dab of DMT. So it definitely wasn't a breakthrough. Um, it wasn't strong enough to where I couldn't speak because I sat up a few minutes into the trip and started talking. And this will sort of give people an idea of what it's like to do a sub breakthrough DMT trip. It's probably less intense than people might realize. DMT, it's like, it's weird. The ramp up is like not intense, not intense, not intense, not intense, really intense. You know, there's no like in between really. I guess there is, but it's just, it's hard to really be precise for certain methods. I mean, the pen is actually normally really good for zeroing in your dose exactly how you want it. That's why I probably prefer it overall, but it's very expensive compared to other methods. Uh, since that's ran out now, my next batch of DMT I'm going to get, I'm going to get straight up powder DMT, regular DMT, and then I'm going to use my Yokan XL Plus Evolve pen with a ceramic donut coil. I have that on order. It should be here in a couple days, and then 
I'll go out and grab some DMT and we'll be back into the groove of things. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. It's going to be a great March. I love all of you, all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining. Sorry, I've been quiet in the last little bit. It's not typical. Uh, I'll be back at it in uh, no time. And I'm looking forward to the trip chat. I'll see you all there. Enjoy this very sub breakthrough trip. Uh, I was going to scrap the whole video, but I figured you guys would rather see this and not see it at all. You know, uh, I'm just going to document all my trips for better or worse. That I think gives a better, more realistic idea of what to expect from DMT. And it'll let people know that, you know, it doesn't always go perfectly according to plan. I know when you first start smoking DMT, it can be tricky a little bit. And, um, you know, this is my 50th or 60th time smoking DMT and it still didn't go as planned. Oh, I hit 6,000 too, by the way. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. All right, I'm rambling on. You probably don't want to hear me talk anymore. Hello, my friends. Thank you for being here for another video. Uh, sorry, I've been away for a little bit. I've just been taking a little bit of a break from the psychedelics. You know, I think I was going a little bit heavy there for a while but uh i think i'm ready to get back at her and uh, i'm gonna do a dmt trip tonight so, oh wait first i should mention something notice anything different maybe everything looks different because i'm using a new camera a much better camera not my cell phone anymore although that was great and it was doing the trick this is uh clearly an upgrade and i have to thank my donators for making that possible i really wouldn't have been able to afford something like this otherwise and so uh really uh thank you seahawks thank you slump to everyone else who donated there's a ton of you and you've all been very generous there's been a lot of you i don't want to leave anyone out and there's really just too too many of you to mention here in this video so i just i want i want to thank you all i appreciate it so much and uh yeah this camera is great i'm loving it so far it's uh, a clear upgrade and um yeah, I'm very, very, very thankful. Thank you. So I think I have enough in there currently for a good trip. I'm just going to keep hitting it until, you know, I can't hit it anymore. Whether it runs out or I just lose, you know, the ability to hit it. Whichever comes first, I guess. And maybe I should go to the washroom quickly. You know, we don't want any accidents. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Anyways, I should turn off my um, notifications as well. That was, uh, I think, a sign from the universe helping me out there thank you it always seems to happen right before my trip right before i trip out like a notification goes off i'm like oh yeah you should shut those off if you don't know any sound like that could really like throw you off i don't know i think past the point where like something like that would throw me off now but my first few dmt trips that definitely would have like spooked me and uh it could send the whole trip south it just about does it i'm pretty prepared i think i'm not too nervous right now i'm just i'm i'm ready for it so Make sure I'm nice and comfortable.
Normally I don't do this, but since this is not a very, very intense trip and the thought occurred to me, I thought maybe I would just try to talk to the camera. About halfway through, I'm still tripping really good right now, by the way. About halfway through hitting it, I decided I'm not gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do a light trip. And so I only took like three or four milder hits. And then blew them out. Normally you need a lot more with this, with the pen. Oh, fuck. This is really weird though. I can sit up, I think. I'm still tripping really good. I mean, a lot more than... <clears throat> it's really weird when you're on like a low dose of DMT, like a sub breakthrough dose, People often wonder what the visuals are like. It's very hard to talk right now. Sorry if I sound weird, but... <sighs> People often wonder what the visuals are like. And I always describe it as like, it's like if an alien came to Earth and they saw everything, they had to go back home and describe it to everybody. And the only way they can do it was with like, drawing it on a piece of paper that's sort of like what it would look like it looks like reality just everything's a little different everything looks long and slender for some reason this is all just my own experience uh and then also like the whites become very very white and crisp for some reason i don't know it's different for everybody obviously but Yeah, about halfway through, I chickened out. I decided I'm not going to go through, like, for a full breakthrough dose. Uh, breakthrough uh, trip. Sorry, it's very hard to articulate right now. Uh, so right now, everything just looks very smooth and crisp. And um, i got to say, the visuals aren't very intense right now. But when I was closing my eyes, I got more middle fingers, giving me the middle finger. Uh, a lot of, like, patterns and that's all i can really remember from closing my eyes i don't really get strong close eye eye visuals normally sorry i'm bumbling i'm stumbling over my words right now just to 
decision to like sit up and start talking to the camera took a lot of like mental effort on my part i really wanted to just go with the trip but i decided to sit up and start talking because i don't know that's not something normally people do but as you can see when you're on dmt like a sub breakthrough dose it's you're really in control so a lot of people ask me what like a sub breakthrough dose is like because a lot of people want to test the waters and they want to just take a little bit and see what it's like i hear a lot of people say that don't do that they're against that for i don't know whatever reason i'd probably say it's not really worth it but if you just want to test the waters it's sort of you know if that helps you calm your nerves then do that because it's not you know it's not going to hurt you um, i find just sub breakthrough doses are very physical and really like it's hard to move in your motor skills and you really notice the the body load a lot that's not necessarily comfortable it's not bad though um and then you know once you you take enough you, your mind just sort of doesn't focus on the body load anymore and the trip just becomes something else and it's you know you, you your focus switches to um the mental state you're put into um, and so the body load becomes basically secondary in a breakthrough dose. Um, but so in a sub breakthrough dose, that's like all you can focus on. It's like, there's nothing else really to draw your attention away from it. That was such a roundabout way of saying what I'm trying to say. But, uh, like I said, I'm still tripping, you know? That's another thing too. When you take a small dose, it seems like there's a timer set. It's not like a small dose. It only lasts like a minute. It seems like when you do a little bit of DMT, no matter what, it's 10 minutes. If so if it's a small dose, a big dose, it's just like very strange. Cause I've taken small doses before and it lasts about like 10 minutes. It lingers for quite a while. Um, that felt like a pretty big dose, but you know what? I think my wick is starting to dry up. There's still a little bit left in there, as you can see, but it's not enough. There's like not enough gravity or like pressure to push it into that hole. You know what I mean? So I just smoked whatever was on that wick and I think it was getting kind of dry. Those last couple hits. Anyways, that, you know, probably didn't go as planned. I'll admit it, <laughs> but I am getting some more DMT soon. I'm going to get powder next time. I think just regular powder and I'm going to get a ceramic coil for my, um, I got a Yokane Evolve XL Plus, and I heard with a ceramic coil, uh, it works really good with DMT. If anyone has that set up and would advise me against it for whatever reason, let me know. But I think that's probably the route I'm going to go. These, these, these are great. The, the cartridges, they're amazing, but they're very expensive and I don't think it's worth it really. And also I heard a lot of people saying they don't get they haven't gotten good ones, but this one was pretty good when it was full. Anyways, I think I'm finally basically <clears throat> back to ground level now. Uh, that wasn't really an intense trip, obviously. I saw some cool patterns when I did close my eyes, but um, I saw a bunch of middle fingers, basically. As if, like, goading me to take more. Goad is that, I think I used that correctly, goad. I'm going to start a word of the day thing, I think, in um, our Discord. If you're not part of the Discord, join our Discord. The link's in the uh, description below. It's a great community. We're, we're over 150 members strong now. And um, it's just a really lot of cool, nice, warm people in there. And uh, I'd love to have you aboard. And that's it for now. I just wanted to basically uh, do this quick trip because I haven't uploaded it in a while. Um, I do got a lot of videos planned though, and uh, the weather's clearing up, which is great. I got a lot of shit planned for downtown Vancouver, which is going to be fun. All right, guys. Cheers. Thank you for watching. I love you all, and thank you for the support. Peace out. Have a good day. Peace. Mwah. 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 <laughs> I did that weird. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the trip chat in a couple of days. If you can't make it into the Discord, uh, hopefully I see you on the stream at least. Um, but I want people in the discord, come join our community. Come on. It's small and it's, it's, you know, it's tight knit. It's not, 
it's, it's a very non-intimidating group to join. Like I hate joining groups that are already established and they got like their own, they're very clicky, you know, and they, they're not welcoming to outsiders. I don't want that at all for our channel. I just want it to be welcoming. And so far it's very much like that. So if it's hard for you to meet new people, um, you know, come on, come on over. If you just want to message me and have a question for me, just, you know, come and join. You don't have to say anything. You can just talk to me, you know, I'd love to meet all of you. All right. Peace out. Have a good one. Cheers. See you soon. Bye. Mwah. You guys rock.